again and welcome to my YouTube channel. And with the relaunch of this YouTube channel, I want to start with a three-part video series. And that three-part video series is going to help you find your voice as a storyteller, discover your story, and then to put it all together. Now, will that story look like a look like a book? Will it look like a podcast? Will it look like a keynote speech? So today's video is going to be about how you can find your voice as a storyteller. The first step is asking yourself the question, what lights you up? What I mean by that is what just really sets fire to your passion? What are you passionate about? What stories, what people, what characters, what are you passionate about? What do you love about your story? And that is an incredibly broad question. Well, what do you love about your story? Could it be a certain event in your life that taught you a lesson? Or could it be something fictional based on real life? And last but not least, ask yourself the question, what do I do well? I'll give you a great example. One of my greatest literary inspirations is a man named Aaron Sorkin. Now, Aaron Sorkin is the nine-million-time Emmy Award-winning creator and main writer of shows like The West Wing, Sports Night, Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, which was highly underrated, by the way, The Newsroom on HBO. He's won Oscar for his screenplay for The Social Network. Um, he's truly one of my greatest inspirations as an author. But one of the things that he does the best, and he'll admit it, he's not a great storyteller, but he writes compelling dialogue. Now, oftentimes the dialogue is spoken by actors who were rapidly walking down hallways, but he writes compelling dialogue. I mean, he wrote the You Can't Handle the Truth scene from A Few Good Men. That is what he does best, is write compelling dialogue. I'm never going to be a writer who is who uses flowery descriptions to describe scenes. And I'm not a great world builder, but I'm a great character author. I write compelling characters. So ask yourself this question, what do you do well? Now the second step in finding your voice as a storyteller is asking yourself the question, what makes you feel like a child? In other words, what gets you connected with your deep down authentic truth? Now to be clear, have you ever heard a child tell a story? They're all over the place. There you know, there's no real focus and no real point oftentimes, but it's all passion and it's all joy. So ask yourself the question, what makes you feel like a child about your story? Now, before we go further, I just want to remind you, now's the time to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, because there will be more content just like this coming out on this channel. And also click that notification bell. Because every time a new video like this goes up, every time a new episode of the Solar Powered Podcast goes up, you're going to get notified. Now the next step to finding your voice as a storyteller may be a little tricky to, to explain, but it's an important one. Discover what's true about you and about your story. Think about this. If you're writing something nonfiction, if you're writing something that's using true events from your life, there may be times when one person in that event from your life might have a different perception of what actually happened, but still share it anyway. Remember, we're not being journalists here. We're not having to just share the facts because one person's interpretation of the facts might be a little bit different. So 
find the truth of your story. Now, even if your story is fictional, you need to find the truth of it. Yeah, I know fiction is made up. Stay with me here. I'm working on a new novel. Now, in this book, as I was writing the initial draft, a lot of old wounds started creeping in. A lot of old trauma and stuff that happened in my past came up as I was working on this initial draft. But I didn't let that stop me working through it because I know without a shadow of a doubt that authenticity is what is going to make that scene really stand out for the reader when you're in the moment. So find the truth of your story, even if it's fiction. And last but not least, as the great Alan Iverson once said, we're talking about practice, man. You know, I talk to a lot of beginning writers and storytellers who simply don't have the practice. But the voice is there. The voice is compelling. There might be some rubble. There might be some pain and trauma and unhealed stuff that might be standing in the way. But your voice is there. Your voice never went away. We're not finding it. We're just uncovering it. So you've got to practice. You've got to get in there. Get it wrong. Mess up. But you've got to get in there and practice. And don't do this alone, y'all. If you need somebody who has been there, who has uncovered the stuff, who has found his voice, who has uncovered his voice, I'm your guy. And I want to support you through this process because I believe that the human voice, the storyteller, we need more storytellers in this world. You can reach out to me just by sending me an email at royalheartscoaching at gmail.com. You can go to my website at royalheartsmedia.com where you can find more information about the services that I offer. Or you can just simply follow me on the social media machine. I look forward to hearing from you. Now, in our next video, we'll walk you through some of the steps you need to take to find your story.